This memorial tablet and the reredos adjoining are erected by friends and contemporaries that those who come after may not forget. It's often quite difficult for us to imagine what it's like to be in the immediate aftermath of a, a tragedy, which of course the, the First World War was in terms of the impact it had on our community. As you can see from our war memorial, um, there's a huge number of people from college who were lost in the war. It's almost a hundred lives were lost. Um, but one of them I'd like to draw your attention to is this gentleman in the bottom corner, F. Green, remembered here for being a servant of the college. We believe that he was a scout, so that he was involved in keeping the college running. It was a very important role. He was um, in the 9th Battalion of the Royal Fusiliers, and he died in 1916, we believe, on the first day of the Battle of the Somme. It's interesting, isn't it, that for all we have a list of people who died in the same year, his name is separate. Perhaps that is because at the time it was deemed that the students were perhaps more significant to some people's minds. But I'd like to think that he is in the bottom corner because he occupied a particular place in the heart of the college. Our war memorial is made of two parts. The first is the tablet of names, which we've already looked at, but the second is this Eredos behind me. The fact that this is a war memorial as well as a piece of church architecture has a particular poignance. If you look at Mary looking up at her dying son, her heart must be breaking. And in the same way, the hearts of mothers all over the country would be breaking as their sons did not return home from the war. What Frank Green and the students who died remind us is that it is the relationships around them which mattered and the community in this college which is a significant thing. And we ensure, even today, that those who come after will not forget.